Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So in my video on Wednesday, I did a photo walk and here are the images. Whoops, nope, they are thumbnails for a previous video. We don't want the thumbnails, we want these images. Now, I haven't fully gone through these yet as it is, <laughs> it's still Monday for me. Um, Monday the 5th of July. Uh, to any Americans, Happy Independence Day. I know it's not today, it's yesterday and... Yeah. Anyway, let's get on with it. So... Now, some of these I don't really like, like these ones here. Um, because it, I focused on these like grain things here rather than on the horses. But I did use the autofocus. But I shouldn't really use that as an... Uh, as, as an excuse really but I think we will start with we'll start at the beginning so we've got this just this nice picture of horses it needs straightening out a bit it's a little bit wonky to me we'll sort the highlights out bring them highlights down we can actually bring the exposure down a bit mm. bring in some contrast lift the shadows Lift some whites, maybe drop some blacks. And I think we'll use a preset. There we go, I like that one. That's actually quite a nice preset. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna export that. Just like that. And then I think we will go to, hmm, don't know. I think I might warm this one up a bit. Mm, I don't like that one, no. Not happy with it. Uh, I like these ones though. So, have a look maybe that one so if we lift some of them shadows up we drop some of them highlights just to bring back some of the sky and then we pull back the whites we lift the blacks and again I think we'll go with a Chris Hugh preset of that one I really, really happy with that. Um, I, I, I like the colour that the preset actually gives me. Now, yeah, you could see a preset as lazy for, you know, lazy editing. And yeah, it kind of is, but it does make my workflow easier. And that's what I want. I want my workflow to be nice, easy and just, yeah. So what else do we have? So we've done two pictures already of the horses. So I think we'll skip the horses now. Um, more horses. There's lots of horses around there. We'll go with this one. I think we'll kind of do the same. We will bring them highlights down. And what we can do actually with this one in particular is we'll do a selective edit. And we will just bring that down. And we'll change the temperature just there. And we can make that a little bit greener, a little bit more teal. And what I'll do is I'll just, ooh, just to about there. And then push done on that. No, it has kind of made it all here a little bit pear, a little bit ugly. So I think we're adding some contrast. And we'll lift some shadows, we'll lift the whites. Mm. Maybe lift some of the blacks. And that's the final image. 
I'm not so keen on this one, to be fair. It's nice, it's just not my best work. And then we have another picture of the horses here. And I'm wondering, oh, I'm wondering, did I? No, okay, so that's a bit of a pain. So I can crop in, and I intend to crop in a little bit, not by much, just to about there. Then I'm gonna use the Chris Hugh preset again, because it's gonna be easier and speed up the workflow. Actually, although I think I might just bring, oh, the highlights are already brought down. But yeah, that makes that look nice. I like that. You don't have to like it, that's down to you. So what have we got here? We got another one of the trail. What does that Chris Hugh one do? Oh, now that is horrid. Yeah, we don't. We don't want that. What about the Peter McKinnon one? Because I do have two. I have Peter McKinnon and Chris Hugh. Yeah, they're, they're horrid. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into colour. We're going to bring them blues in. And then colour mix. Let's get the blues. Actually, we're going to go with a selective edit. Just like we did last time. Get to about there. We're gonna go with a little bit of blue and bring in the teals. Just like that. And then we're gonna up the contrast. Drop the highlights. Lift some shadows. Lift the whites and the blacks. And that's what we're left with. and export to camera roll. And then that's that's it really. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're sick of me editing pictures of horses. So I'm just gonna, no, don't want the selective edit. I'm just gonna put that preset on here because I want to. And I'm going to crop in to about there, maybe a little bit more out, there, push done and export that, export to camera roll and there we go. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.